can I get a um, two small, strong black Americanos? A takeaway one. Cheers. Everyone is talking about the rise in the cost of living. But I want to find out if people with disabilities who often need to use more energy to meet their needs are already being hit harder by these costs. I've come to Nottingham to meet Anne, who has already been forced to make difficult choices. Uh, yeah. Only 20% of disabled people have started out as disabled people, so there's a risk that it could happen to anybody. Do you think the rise in cost of living is harder for people with disabilities? Yes, I do. I think there's so many costs that are hidden that we've got no choice on whether to use. The bill rose it overnight. Um, it went from £82 to 140 and that's the first increase of goodness knows how many. I have an electric profiling bed. Without that, I can't change my position in the night. I have ceiling track hoists, and that, that's how I get into my shower chair. That's how I go to the loo. They're drawing energy all the time. And I, I try and do my best. I keep the lights off. I don't turn the heating on. I'm frightened of using the washing machine too much because that uses too much energy, so I, there have been times where I sit in dirty clothes. How does it make you feel? I feel that my life doesn't matter and my quality of life doesn't matter. And it's, it's just because I'm disabled. Um, I am capable of so many things if given the opportunity. For many people, living independently is the dream. But this comes with additional costs, which family members are often forced to meet. Because of Daddy's autism, he has set things that he likes to do that he can't change. So he has flashing disco lights throughout his bedroom that are on for probably six to eight hours a day. He has a CPAP machine on a night because he has sleep apnea. So we can't decide he has that on less. Why is it important that Dave has his own home? Dave, what? do you like living on your own? Yeah. He's strongly independent. We, we've pushed that he has as much choice as possible. In my home, I've been able to lower my usage to cope with the increased prices. Here, we can't. David's needs haven't changed, so his usage hasn't changed. It's just become more expensive. So how do I hold this? How are you coping? I haven't got extra money, which means that David's extra usage goes onto credit cards or with loans. Do you love him? It's because he hasn't got the understanding of the changes that are needed that it's unfair. So that, for me, is discriminatory. You didn't go to bed last night at all, did you, mate? No? Was there just no sleep? No. <laughs> David and Anne aren't alone. Scope has given Channel 4 exclusive access to a report being published which shows that disabled people are far more likely to feel the effects of the rise in the cost of living. So um, can you tell me about the report and what did you find out? What we found is that disabled people once again are being hit hardest by this crisis. So for example, disabled people were two times more likely to say that they couldn't heat their homes, three times more likely to say that they can't afford food at the moment. And there's a huge amount of worry and distress in the disabled community about what's unfolding. It's not just about essentials. What about the things that bring us joy? The first round will be an animal round. In Croydon, people with learning disabilities are at the pub quiz, run by gig buddies. 
There's not a lot of disabled people that get stuck in, stuck in their flat and they've got no one to talk to. When something like this, they able to get a chance to talk and meet people and stuff. The government talks about being lonely. The price of living going up, people get more lonely because they can't go and socialise. With disabled people set to be the worst hit by the cost of living crisis. What can it be done to make sure they are not faced with the toughest choices? This is Ruben Reuter reporting for Channel 4 News.